Hey ladies, before starting program number two, please watch explanation video on how to practice program number two. It is, uh, I, I will attach the link here in the description of this video. Um, before starting this program, please watch it at least one time. I will explain how to practice. You will have series of tutorials and you might not know who, uh, which one is the first, which one is the second. And some of those uh, tutorials will be related to, to each other. Some will be absolutely separate and not related to each other. So um, that's why it's very important that you watch the explanation on how to practice so you know what to do when you practice independently at home. All right, great. So it's linked here in this video, in the description. You can just follow the link and watch it. It's very brief, short explanation. Tear up. This, uh, so next you will hear a brief explanation of what is tear up, uh, what does the word tear up mean and what is tear up belly dancing style. Again, we will be um, touching this subject very briefly uh, and the reason for that is because um, I truly believe that you are not ready yet to, uh, to dance to this music and more importantly to listen to this music and enjoy it. We need more time to learn more about rhythms, to learn more about other oriental belly dancing styles and then you will be ready to learn more about Harab. Um, I, again, I chose this uh, picture for, for this video. Uh, because uh, this singer, Um Kalzum, is one of the um, most uh, popular Tarab singers. So if you would like to learn more or uh, to look into this topic, you can look her up and listen to her um, music, to her songs. Uh, but again, this t it takes time for us, for Western people to understand this music. So most likely when you hear or listen to it, first time, second time, you might not um, enjoy it, you might not be able to uh, feel the emotions that uh, Tarab ex music and uh, Tarab uh, poetry uh, expresses. But again, we'll get there. It takes time, but when um, you get there, when you're ready, you will enjoy it greatly. It took me about five years to learn to understand this music. So, no rush, okay? <laughs> I would like to introduce another belly dancing style, uh, Tarab. It's going to be a very brief introduction and the reason I'm touching this subject today is because we are learning rhythm Vata and this rhythm is widely used in uh, belly dancing style, Tarab. Uh, so first of all, let's um, look into the meaning of the word Tarab. What does it mean? There is no direct translation into English to translate it. So it's a state of excitement, of ecstasy, um, that happens under influence of a perfect combination, music, poetry, and very specific type of voice that audience hears and uh, that um, audience feels, more importantly. Um, in Oriental music culture, interaction between audience and musicians and singers and dancers is very important. Um, listeners feel sadness, they feel um, excitement, and they feel all emotions that are being described in, in, in the song um, in the form of poetry. So, uh, Tarab is not any song uh, that you hear, any Middle Eastern song or Egyptian song. It's a song um, it's music and songs that were created in the 50s, 70s of um, previous century, uh, 1950s to 1970s. And there is a number of musicians uh, that sang this song, number of singers. So not every singer, not every musician um, uh, uh, created this type of music. Initially, Tarab um, was uh, not cre created only was created only for listening. It's not a composition that was cr created for dancers. Uh, in modern belly dancing, um, that music was used to dance to perform, and obviously the new dance style was originated based on this music, as any dance style uh, is being originated based on specific music. 
Um, so it is dancing to a song, but not any song. It, this is not pop oriental, and there is big difference. Uh, it's compositions that are considered to be golden heritage of Arab culture. And there is a number of singers, for example, songs of Um Kalsum, uh, of Abdel Halim, uh, of Wahda. And we'll discuss in more details examples and, and singers and musicians of this uh, type of style when we actually start learning about the style in more details. So uh, this uh, 30 seconds um, music uh, piece is from a song. Uh, and it, the song is called, if we translate the meaning of the song, when the, the name of the song is, it means, You Confused My Heart. So the singer in this music is telling that she wants to tell a man about uh, what ho worries her and um, what keeps her up at night, but her pride doesn't let her, doesn't allow her to talk about her feelings. So I guess uh, you probably um, can uh, remember that the topic of being too proud to tell about your feelings it was also discussed in our uh, Alama Yabdu choreography. So here in this song, again, we are, um, uh, the, the story is about a proud woman who does not want to speak about her feelings, but she feels those feelings and she wants to express them in, uh, in a song, in poetry, and we will are trying to express those feelings um, in our dance. Uh, uh, the music that we will be dancing to. Now, again, as I said in the video, I don't think that you're ready uh, to go uh, touch this subject, Tara. Uh, you have to learn a little more about uh, rhythms, a, a little more about other dance styles, belly dancing styles, and then uh, you will be ready to um, uh, start uh, learning about Tara. Now, uh, I touched the subject today only because we're learning Vahda, and Vahda is widely used in Tara, in this specific belly dance style. Uh, and just to give you an example, not just a separate rhythm, but to, uh, to give you an example, uh, to hear the rhythm within a musical composition, that's why I wanted you to practice uh, and learn this very, very short combination, which is gonna be 30 to 33 seconds a combination, okay? So first, we're gonna listen to the part of music that we're gonna dance to, it's the end, end of the song, of the song that is about three, three minutes. Uh, and then we're gonna dance this combination that you learned already to this music, okay? So in case if you didn't watch the previous video tutorial on Vahda, you do not start this one because you will, I'm not gonna be explaining the combination here. I, I did it already in a previous uh, video lesson, okay? So here we will practice the same combination that we learned to the rhythm with this music, okay? Get ready to listen. I'm gonna face you first time. Thank you. 
for you to learn. This is slowed music. Alright, let's get started with that one. 
I truly know. There is something else we're going to do with Vahda now. Um, so in Vahda, we learned the importance of accents. And we're learning to show those accents. Now, I'm going to record another tutorial for you. Now, it's going to be very brief on how you can use all these accents and not only with belly dancing music, Arab music, like certain styling, uh, stylized music, but how you can use it, let's say, in tango music. We will take tango music and I will show you how you can use these same accents uh, when you're dancing tango, okay? I'm not gonna add anything, we're just gonna practice accents, okay? So, um, uh, next video coming.